So yeah, this is uh, the World Globe. One of the globes I have. I have another one. Uh, I'm not playing right now. It's uh, I forget what it's called. It doesn't have a pedestal. The other one. It's a much bigger. This is I bought it for like four or five dollars at a at Roy Market. I thought it was cool colors. I just you know I think it was a it's an ornament, but it, it's you know and the reason it's like you know another reason it's cool to have a globe. This is the sphere. Is that a perfect sphere? This is our, our world. You know. This is how it really is. You see the map, and it's it just played out. You gotta use your imagination, you know, like uh, actually longitude latitude wise. And this is so fascinating. This is just like ah, like, or a place where I'm in New Jersey, and the opposite side of the globe is close to Japan. Japan and uh, on the on the outskirts of of, of North Korea. Actually, more closer to Japan, you know. That's why you know uh, a couple of weeks ago, when there's an earthquake in, by Japan and uh, south of Japan, it hit Taiwan actually, and it hit like uh, uh, islands I believe that belong to Japan, Okinawa actually. Uh, the movie where a uh, Karate Kid, Mr. Miyagi, originated from Okinawa. You know, it, it, the earthquake hit there, and the next day we had like a 3.4, 3.5 earthquake. And it, it, it just so happened here in Jersey, and I was I was just thinking like it's not an aftershock, is it? But and I just looked at the map, and it was it was just almost it was almost it was close. I was off by miles, but I just felt like you know if there's an earthquake here, and it's a tectonic plates, but you know it's it's under tectonic plates that they shake. Tectonic plates just shift and they move. Why well, and what were they? And I looked at it. You know, statistics. And I was trying to find dates if it happened before, and I couldn't add it up. So maybe we just, you know, it was just a random, a random, uh, it was, it was just a random encounter. But at the same time, I was like, I was thinking, why don't I look at the globe instead of looking at the map? Because on Google, you look at the maps, a lot of times, like, unless, you know, you, you go to a website, like a scientific website, and it shows you the map, which I didn't subscribe to. But I type in Google, uh, map of the world, and it's like maps for sale on eBay, Amazon. I can't, and multiple pages, I just, you know, it's like, and I get frustrated, it's like, you know, when you try to see, see the map, it was like, you could buy it, and you get it in like a week, two weeks, and you have a map, well, it'll be a flat map, so it's like, you know, why don't I just look at the globe, and I'm thinking, you know, Russia is right here, Russia is right here, you know, and, uh, see, uh, it's right above China, there's also China, that's why, you know, Russia, a lot of times, is, is coincides with Asia, and, you know, the western side of Russia, they believe they're part of Europe. Which is another problem, you know, it's the same body of mass and you can't be uh, Europe and Asia. Which is not the whole continents thing. It's really about uh, uh, nations or cultures grouping together. Multiple nations having the same culture, I believe, or the same kind of unity that binds them in a certain way. Not so much land mass to begin with. The whole the continents is, is defined in property uh, I mean, it's defined properly, but the way we see continents is not based on the definition. Kazakhstan, they have already in, in big Uzbekistan, Turkmenistan, that's south, that's right north of uh, Iran. Iran is, you know, uh, not too far from Syria, Iraq, Jordan, uh, Saudi Arabia, Yemen, over that south, Pakistan, Afghanistan. And where is, see, I thought Israel, be, Israel is, Israel is way, not way west, it's uh, west of Iraq. See, that's Israel. Cyprus. This is a small globe, so it doesn't even show Gaza. But just this one area right here. I mean, Iraq, Syria, and Jordan stand in between uh, uh, Israel and, and Iran. So if Iran uh, fired those rockets, they have to be in, you know, I mean, they were intercontinental ballistic uh, missiles. 
It looked very small for I mean and it's just, it, to me it could be a rocket. I mean unless you know Iraq or Jordan I don't, I don't know Jordan or Syria uh, allowed uh, uh, Iran to to use the territory of Gaza. But you say did or not, it's just uh, they're fired from there and uh, Israel retracts. Uh, and are the other countries gonna get uh, caught up in that as well? You know, also if you look at Palestine, Arabia. I mean, Iraq, Iraq, Syria, uh, Jordan, Saudi Arabia, you know, Iran, Gaza, uh, Lebanon, they're Arabic countries. So it's, you know, it, it, we're talking about the same cultures. Also, I mean, it's really, a, 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 you know, a, it's, a con it's a conflict of, you know, uh, just, just uh, Jewish people versus Arabic, if you think about it. If you talk about nations, it could be just nations. We could, you know, have result a resolve. And then you talk about if Iran is going to war with Israel now, which you know they declare war, they're firing at it, and firing at Israel and Gaza, you know, for, uh, you know, and you know Russia, I, and they still have conflict with Ukraine. So it's like uh, uh, the East is coming uh, for the West. You look at the map, and let's say where's China? China is south of China. China is powerful as well. The U.S. economy and you know China has weaponry as well. And it's right next to Russia. I don't think Russia will go over China. I'm not saying they will unite forces. I mean, hopefully China doesn't join into this, but you know. Peaceful Africa. And South America. I would say Canada, because, you know, <laughs> it's part of America, and United States, we're not that peaceful, but, you know. Canada was always like the outsider, right? You know, it's like, you know, you're like, uh, you know, we get it. We just, we just smile at the time, right? You fucking break. We could do something too if you want, idiot. <laughs> There's green light, which is not green light. It's really not green light. Who fucking does this? <laughs> oh, he's trying to go to Earth, right? <laughs> Trying to get an ass quick out of that trick. I was like, bro. <laughs> now he's telling people we like guys with big fat. Those are these black guys that are just normal tukuses. <laughs> Look at the tukus. <laughs> Look at tukus for a fool. <laughs> Mongolia. Mongolia is so far. Like, why would they even invade Poland? Like, Mongols. They were very. They had a very. Uh, just. Uh, I know they're. they're they're very upset. <laughs> you know, just the pictures I saw, they're like, you know, they were warlike, they were just Asian like. I mean, obviously, yeah. And there's a lot of Russians that, you know, yeah, they have very chi a chi Asian features, like the BDI, but they're Russians, they're talking Russian, you know. Like, you guys aren't Chinese? They, they, they work in Staten Island. But of course, it's like, you know, it's, you know, it transcends nation. You know, there's people in the states that are like, like the Latinos. There's black people, man. They're not all white, right? Canadians aren't all like white, uh, French, Quebec. I mean, people migrated. Also, cultures like I look Ukrainian to a lot of people. People say actually, people say I look like Russian. Is is in my eyes? my eyes? You know, we have similar features. We're like you know neighbors and stuff like that. So of us, you know, get with each other. <laughs> A very freaky way of looking at it, but you know, you have a girlfriend in a while, so you know, you're thinking about it. <laughs> you just don't want you to, right? Just stop dreaming. <laughs> Draw it over there, it's a computer. Pervert. <laughs> Make a sense, of, you know, it'd be too nice. Come on, you already know that. <laughs> Friendly trying to ask her opinions about something. <laughs> this is a Joe Rogan guy, just fuck the chick. Come on, you idiot. We know you gay. <laughs> Well, gay guys do that. They would be friends. <laughs> no, I said, you're not. You're not two kids. Three kids, actually. They tell us. <laughs> oh, all right. <laughs> Trump. 
chat. It's the chat. No, it's a, it's a name. It's a thing that's going on. Chad, Niger. The river of Niger. It said it's called Niger, not Nigeria. Mali. Yeah, I had a confrontation with this guy. He says, oh, uh, Mali. And I was like, yeah, you know, you know. You're a black American, black, uh, you know, person from the States. Like, you know, you have descendants, roots from Africa. You know what Mali is? M-A-L-I, you know? When there was a king in Mali, said, based on capital, you know, what, what money he had, Elon Musk and Jeff Bezos would still be, uh, had less money than he had in those times. Unbelievable the amount of wealth uh, you know people possess. Yeah, if you think about it, so much money. Uh, why not build the infrastructure? Same in the states. So much money. Why not just build so much infrastructure? Europe as well. Except Europe is, is you know they a lot of places they do take care. They try to build build infrastructure. People in the states in the what 50s, 60s. Building highways and yeah, I mean, I get it's concrete, but it's fine, but it, it just goes, you know, it gets a couple of years and you have to redo it over and over again. And that's asphalt, actually. Asphalt, you know, a lot of places they put asphalt. Spain is actually has a really great train system. Like it's a, it's a great north, south, east, and west, you know, it's a high speed ch uh, train. You have flatlands, almost it looks like desert like in northern Spain, I believe, or like uh, uh, more no north of Madrid. I don't know, maybe it was south. I don't know. I, I saw the map and I was like, wow, that's kind of you know empty and like a de desolate, but it's beautiful. I mean, there's so many beautiful places in the world, there's so many beautiful places in Jersey, actually, you know. Congo, Zaire, Angola, Zambia, Zimbabwe, Botswana, South Africa, all the way south, obviously, you know. Mozambique, Nawari, Tanzania, Tanzania. That's an interesting, just like Kenya, Ethiopia, Somalia, Uganda, South Sudan, North Sudan, Egypt, Libya. It's not Egypt, is in Africa. It's on the eastern eastern coast. I always wanted to go to Morocco and Algeria, Algiers. Algiers go to Morocco, and from Morocco, take a, a boat ride ferry north to Spain. Because they have those, you know. Imagine, like, you're, you're right in Europe, and then you go to Africa. And I wanted to uh, go back to Spain from Morocco. And, you know, either train or by car, like, uh, I saw this Jeep and it was $65,000 in Brooklyn, New York. And I was going to transport her. So I'll buy something in either Morocco, actually, something like that. You know, like a, an all-terrain vehicle. Somewhere with Doggo could get there or a cat. I don't know if a cat would like it. And I travel from Morocco all the way east to, like, you know, maybe Egypt or I don't know. Make my way to, like, you know, somewhere else. I just had, had a feeling... Morocco, but Algiers, Tunisia, and they're trying to make my way all the way to Egypt, east of Egypt. And then there's Jordan. Jordan is actually a rich country as well. And there's Saudi Arabia. Yeah, I mean, there's so much wealth, but, you know, a few years ago, you know, uh, yeah, China is investing in the economy of, of Africa and certain African countries. But then some people try to say, are they playing like a game where they, you know, they invest, but then they get real estate back. So they say so they're controlling, uh, you know, they're buying uh, the, the land from, from the inside out based on property, real estate, hotels, who knows, land, infrastructure. Yeah, needs to know. It, it doesn't really matter if like this country owes the property this way. Just you know, the infrastructure bill, you live a better life, and there's peace. And they say there's peace and infrastructure, and borders open from like 
Africa, you could travel all the way to, uh, to, to Asia, to China. I mean, it, it looks just in one, uh, one massive land, just connected by little, little pieces right here. But unless you build a channel, you cut, even though it's still connected, you know, and you can just travel all the way here. But you get to the eastern part of Russia, that's where I wanted to go. It's very cold, it's probably desolate. And only you take a ferry to Alaska and you make your way to North America. The, the Northern Pangea was a very straight. As I say, uh, you know, uh, 100,000 years ago, settlers made their way from Russia to North America. And then, you know, the, the Ice Age or something, it melted and it became over uh, centuries, thousands of years, it became water and they couldn't get there anymore. But then you go from North America to South America. So in reality, it just the world could be connected by rail. You don't have to fly. It just take you a little bit longer, but it'd be much more exciting. You'll travel more. Why are we so congested? Like you know, why are we so frantic? Well, I got, I gotta go. I gotta go to Russia like, 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 to, like in a couple of hours. It can be resolved much easily. Take you like you know, I don't know, a week, two weeks. You make multiple stops. You see New Mexico, you know. Then you know you'll see part of Canada. And go to the coaches, talk to people, make your way through Alaska, part of the United States, there was a cell. And then you make your flight to Russia, Eastern Russia, you, you, and you travel like, you know, all the way west to like Moscow. And, you know, if you want, you know, you could actually, on the way back, you could stop South China and uh, take a boat ride to Japan even. See, Japan will either be considered a large island or a continent, or it's a massive body. The fact, what is massive, depending on, you know, square foot or square kilometers, not foot, it's kilometers. I should know too much, yeah, square, or, you know. But still, it's just, you know, and I'll keep talking about Australia. Well, you're going to take a boat ride from, uh, what, Cambodia all the way to Indonesia. Is it Malaysia? Well, Malaysia is right here. Indonesia. All these islands, I mean, big, uh, massive land, and just not huge, but you know. And yeah, there's much more we could meet to show you. You don't have to fly to Australia. And why would you want to go to South Antarctica, South Pole? I mean, I would want to go. We could take a boat ride there. You need a train. Like, you know, does anyone even float to Antarctica? So it actually makes sense in a while, logical sense. And the North Pole is really, you know, it, it's, it's, it's a magnetic field, but you know, there's Greenland. Which is actually ice, really, really uh, full of ice. That's part of the North Pole. And, you know, you could take a boat there as well. And then, you know, you could come back all the way to Canada and, and you know, take a train to, like, you know, back to New Jersey. Or, uh, like, New York, actually. Imagine, uh, not saying mudfuckery, but, like, wow, I think, you know, from like, you know, from Greenland, just find your way to like New York, a couple days later, a week later, I mean, a couple days, maybe a day or two in a high speed rail, very, very fast, economical, maybe underground, actually, actually, maybe overground, you know, so you see the scenery, you don't want to be underground, because it would just congest you, be a tire exhausted, you know, like, you don't want to be in a certain, uh, in a room, emergency room, I mean, an emergency room, uh, there's like no windows and like LED lights. Uh, it's torture. You get saddened. Would it be nice if, like, you know? China they, they develops an infrastructure, they work with like nations from Africa and they strengthen their, their capital and they actually be the ones along with Russia, maybe in Africa and they figure out rail. Wouldn't you just want to live there? Because like when the United States helps South Africa, because we're connected, I like, gotta bring those people over, right? Give them jobs. That's how you help out. Unbelievable, you know. And I mean complain, just like, why did I come to this fucking side of the world? Who fucked me over?
I'm not going to the history of the world or like, you know, the Western Hemisphere. Yeah, I'm not going to repeat what Gandhi said. You know, what does he think about Western civilization? He said, I think it would be a good idea. <laughs> the little guy, man. I'm like, Ooh, that's it. That really hurt me. That really hurt me. But I know what you're trying to say. Just, you know, I was like, ah. <laughs> he defeated the whole empire with a couple of stones and rods. The guy was small, but he knew what he was talking about. <laughs> you're about to fight somebody, right? You think guy get in your face, like walking to the like, hey, remember that? You know what I'm gonna fuck real man? No, he, he ain't cool, he ain't do that. <laughs> He's a sinister evil, not way. He didn't care about fighting. <laughs> yeah, I get it. Yeah, I get it. Yeah. <laughs> Ah. You never been to Australia. That's so dangerous, but it's like, how can you afford a fucking plane ticket? And it's like, why would I want to fly, like, you know, over, like, 24, 23 hours? I mean, I'll make it, but just, like, if I go, I probably want to come back. If I go, I'll be like, I can't just work here. I work for my visa or something. Like, I don't want to go back to the States, man. Yeah, you know, I've been watching Sky News Australia. One video uploaded, I criticized them. I criticized them. I just didn't feel they, they fully reported about uh, the parents of, like, you know, like, oh, here's the president, kiss the baby, hold the baby, whatever you want, you know. It, it was disgusting, you know. Like, people worship leaders and presidents, Joe Biden, whether Trump, who cares? It's just a person that got elected. A lot of those people aren't intelligent. They're not that nice individuals. Just because they have power and they're, they're a power of, of what? Of the free world? They run the free world. Also, like America, the States, and it's like, a, a, is it a king? Four years later, he won't, even have, he won't be the king anymore. Or eight years later. Even if he is, it's like, you know, you know what, what, why should he meet my kid? But it doesn't matter. It's like, Sky News Australia is like very, very critical of the state, but they're very actually accurate. I don't know. I feel like, you know, I wasted my life on the east, east side of New Jersey. And, you know, actually the last year or two years, I actually got to live, but then I got suppressed and, and I hurt so much, so much time. I started drinking and uh, I started, you know, getting harassed by people and, you know, uh, getting, you know, uh, cold names and inside the anger inside, which I didn't even fucking want to get angry. And I, I, no one would come into my chat room. The only people that came in, one or two people talk. The other one was a, what was a fake person, you know, it was a fake person. And he just, you know, he was, he was in this girl's chat room. I don't know if he was true or not. It was just fucking annoying. All I got is hatred, bigotry, and like lies about me. And people try to get me angry, you know. Imagine all these years you could call me loser. I have not one friend, human being friend, not one. There's all these islands, so the islands right here. And this is the Pacific, Pacific Ocean. It's so grand, it's terrifying. But it's, it's also a, a thing of beauty. So much water. There's so little land. I would now like to sell the ocean. That's not for me. Maybe I can just let go of my fear. Just like being in a storm. I don't know. I don't, I don't know if I ever like that. New Zealand. Yeah, I never think of New Zealand. <laughs> it's just right next to Australia. It's like, oh, yeah, you, I thought you guys, like, no. Like, does anybody, like, you know. Some people think of zucchini. I have zucchini. <laughs> just, like, are they, like, Swedish or something? <laughs> are they native? Wellington, Wellington. Ooh, ooh, it reminds me of some guy. Oh, that's. <laughs> no, I'm just making stuff up now. No, there was like a movie about New Zealand. No, I heard it multiple times, just, you know. Like, I don't know, it's, uh, the people I contact with rarely talk about places of the world. Many just we rarely talk about places of the world. 
One guy, you know, uh, wait, hold on. He was from Ukraine, blah. He's Andre, Ukrainian, blah. Because yeah, people call him a Russian, a Ruski. Yeah, like, look, as you took geography in, in school in America, like, actually, Andre, we didn't have world geography. Oh, no? Okay, all right. But you took a geography in Poland, like, just, yeah, I did. So why do you call me Russian, blah, when I'm Ukrainian? You don't know geography? <laughs> <laughs> he still got me a fucking punk. <laughs> but you know what I said? No, actually, United States, we don't, they don't study you, Jimmy. Why? Because I don't know. They they uh they moved away. They try to move away from the rest of the world. They have inches, you know, miles, this and the other. And they, a lot of times they don't teach uh, children in schools and in, in, in public education about world geography. Maybe like it just it just just overall map and like this and everything. No, no history, no world geography. And the schools that I've been to, public and, you know, Catholic, uh, you know, schools you pay out of pocket for, including you pay taxes for uh, public education. Only one class, and it was like a world, I don't know, U.S. history, world history, and the teacher said, what is Deutschland? Deutschland. And I was confused. And I was like, oh, it's Germany. But it's like, all right, so, uh, I mean, I don't know. Okay, we just get into more. She actually... That teacher history actually, like, you know, she was very open minded. She had teacher bills, it was very minuscule, like it was like one year or something, like a couple months, I don't know. And then we never really fully studied, you know, the countries all over the world. Also, we never had a conversation, like a dialogue about how to unite everything, history, culture, and there's so much. It's like United States, like, and I don't know, being repetitive, but they were repetitive of U.S. history, like every year, U.S. history in high school. Even like through, like, Four, five, six, grade, the same stuff over and over again. To a point where just where I get you guys are heroes, you invented democracy. No, you didn't remember. you perfected democracy. No, you you got it from the Greeks. It's just fucking annoying. And the fucked up part, I took a, in college, my second semester, I took a class in U.S. history. <laughs> I was like, well, I learned it, so it just to be an easy class. I was like, I'm fucking annoyed with it. <laughs> so I did it, like, in the first 20 times. <laughs> I, uh, skipped, skipped the, I uh, repeated a crate. <laughs> I was 19, my CD. <laughs> oh, <my. laughs> I feel okay. I didn't drop that calculus. You moron. You an idiot. <laughs> Kicking your desk, laughing at yourself. For me. Error. <laughs> like, you can never come here, are you? Go to the internet. <laughs> never heard you now. <laughs> All right, I didn't mean it. It's like, but, you know. God, you look at me at the age of one, or one day. I oh, just, you know, my mom ran when I was in the womb. She just did Shakespeare. <laughs> That audio. Fuck it. A piece of genius right there. <laughs> How are you playing the flute with the kids in the movie? Like, uh, you know, the guitar is <laughs> four years later. Don't forget. The floor. How are you? And it's a perfect thing, like, nah, I took it sucking dead. Skin fluid. I still don't go with skin, my tongue is long. Fucking nasty, man. <laughs> but underneath it all, uh, <laughs> yeah, there's that thing going around. I remember hearing, like, if, if, if the kid's in the womb, you know, <clears throat> your child, <clears throat> you know, and you listen to, like, classical music, it'll make them, like, smart, intelligent. I mean, it could actually, depending on what classical music, <clears throat> if you think about classical music, it could really sedate you, relax you. Some could, you know, lift your spirits up and get aggravate you, you know. It's very, uh, it, it's melody. There's no, there's no words. And a lot of them, no words, a lot of them. But it, it just moves you up and down. You move. <clears throat> and I thought, you know, the baby is in the womb and the, and the mother listens to classical music and relax it. Maybe it soothes the child. You know, it's not stressed. I mean, stress has negative side effects how the baby's born and <clears throat> the early de 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 development stages, especially in the womb. You know, cigarettes, uh, tobacco abuse from the mother, 
alcohol, whether it's drugs, I mean, poor poor diet, because really affect the child in an early stage. And then I'm pretty sure they recover. I'm pretty sure their mind suffers as well. Not all the time, depending on the mother's genes or the father's genes and what kind of genes the child will have. But, you know, it really is all relative, you know. Especially when you have a, another sentient being in your body, if you think about it, like a satchel, a womb. And, you know, you have to eat, eat. first of all, you should have healthy genes not to begin with, to have a child. You know, and also it's like when you're, when the mother's eating is going to a... Um, uh, is, is the not the not fallopian tube? It's the uh, uh, is the fallopian tube is connected for the belly button to, to uh hmm yeah from the belly button it's connected the mouth of the of the child is free so the food is actually going through uh, the tube I believe right to the baby's stomach that's when you, when you, when we are uh, we are born they they cut cut this off and we have a, a navel navel you know. That's where the, two, the, the, the food is transferred, it's a tube, you know? Well, so what about poop and defecation? I should really look that up. That's very odd. I guess the mom flush, I mean, she obviously flush, flushes it. And yeah, it's just a lot of things, you know? It's like, but the child's in there and it's like, uh, the mouth is sealed, I believe. I mean, it does get oxygen, but actually, you know, when the, uh, when the baby's born, I think they have to, as it takes its first breath, obviously, right? Yeah. Wow. So actually, you know, I mean, if you take your breath when you're born, it's like you get oxygen. You, I mean, the, you get oxygen through blood, actually, not as much. So actually, the very first moments are very important as well, you know? That's so, why, you know, in the hospitals, you know, and let's say you're not restricted. They say you shouldn't put the babies wrapped up in a blanket. Maybe, you know, right away the mother should hold the young and cradle it. Instead of having it in a, in like little, little tubes, whatever, and the babies cry. It's a new experience. You know, it's bright, actually. Usually it's not that bright. I mean, you shock the child in the first development stage, the first days, actually. It's like the all over the world. It's actually very disturbing. It's very logical. You know, other sentient beings, they nurture the child. My cat, uh, Groshka, Grosha, she was Grosha. She actually found a place, it was in a recliner chair. Same chair, I had this experience, you know, I uh, was thrown off, I couldn't see, and I felt like someone was standing on my chest. I was malnourished, you know, just by other people's accounts, not my own, I believe. But, it was underneath it all, and it was, it was actually, it wasn't open, she found a crevice, and she went in there to get birth in a dark area for her, and then she nurtured them, and she cleaned up after them, you know, Mary over there came from work, and Gosha had the child, she, she just, she just ran out, and she didn't have the belly, so Mary over there knew she gave birth, and she was surprised, she, like, she went, and she, she made sure Mary followed her, and she, like, showed her where they were, you know, she was just happy, she was proud, look, she just tried to show, show her the children, but she took, she went to a dark place, also secluded, so no one could touch. Maybe she didn't trust me or Mary. Maybe she thought, oh, touch the kids and stuff like that, you know, and nurture, protect them. Very intelligent what they are. I mean, I'm pretty sure if we had our own space, we would be very natural and protected as well. Which is that we also conform to this paradigm. You go to the hospital, it stays like twenty five, thirty thousand dollars for childbirth. I mean, that's just a lot of money. That's for a lot of people. That's like one year salary, unless you have insurance, right? So there's also incentives people procreate as well. I mean, the, the, if people are just you know dark and, and greedy like that in the states, but it's also you have to go through this procedure, you know. And then your child ends up in a ends up in a tube, and it's like you know you have to spend time before you see your baby. You have to ask permission. And then, you know, and then, you know, that's one of the reasons, you know, I, uh, I touched an animal farm. 
You know, we see this what you know, pig is a heinous, dirty, disgusting, uh, greedy, foul animal. In animal farm, the pigs were running the farm eventually when the humans were left were left off. And then, you know, the other animals, they actually try to be like the pigs. But I saw it a different, uh, uh, like, because they want to have power. But I see in us, we grow up and then, you know, we go through this abuse from the house. We didn't, I mean, maybe we don't have the common sense to figure out it's all wrong. Maybe we're just, uh, you know, taught to be like, we aspire to be like those people. We become doctors or we put other people in the same tubes that will have a horror show nonetheless and will be trying to be in the same place. That is a form of conforming to greed and a lot of malice and, you know, a lot of illogical behavior. Some of us, you know, join the military and we start our wars. When we're shocked by wars and kid, you know, we, we don't want to get shot. We don't want to shoot somebody. Or maybe we have those deep, uh, uh, deep dark fantasies underneath it all. Because that's our nature. But nurture, uh, you know, it just states the role isn't that uh, nurturing nonetheless. On account of us. If you look at birds, before they procreate, every spring day they make a nest. They find a partner so that the children, the children will have a nest. You know, it is in nature to like, you know, nurture the, the child the offspring before, before it's born, prepare, or when, when they're born, uh, protect them to have the best care possible. Not rely on the sentient beings for it. And I get it, it's how can you do it yourself? Well, maybe the hospital should be much more nurturing to begin with. Because we're a different breed of people. We actually help, we could actually help each other like that, right? Maybe, we, you know, we, we just, you know, abuse each other. And, you know, you, you, you rationalize and you, you have logical reason and you figure it out, but it's just like, ah, it's just how could everything be so wrong in this world? Based on kind of us, human beings. You know, this hardens you, but all you figure out, you know, I'm not like one of those people. I never really was, and I never will be. So it just makes you feel somewhat good. Somewhat good. You start to think about it. Ah. Uh. What if it could change for the better? And even if you wouldn't be here, would it matter as long as you know, you know, you're part of the process, and you have certain ideas that other people have better ideas? Which is, you know, when I converse with somebody like that, have a conversation, agree with one another. And they just say, you know, the world changes for the better. And you have children, but there'll be a, a, a things will be designed. Let's say there is a sociopath, but the sociopath will live in a kind of, not in a certain environment around us. We we'll protect it and he won't exuberate sociopathic tendencies, resolve naturally, instead of a penal system. When it comes to the point where they, will just, they won't commit something egregious, wouldn't that be a better world? I guess it'll take a long time. It's simple logic. That's the only way for peace. Starting with the first child that might be social. Starting with the first child that might be sociopath or klepto. Or multiple, but resolution to the point where they won't co commit an egregious crime or hurt anybody severely. That's probably, you know, centuries, thousands of years from now. Hopefully.
in that individual will harm anyway in a severe and menacing manner, then there will never be a war ever again. Yeah, I mean, if, you know, uh, if I could edit this video, I would, uh, or if I could play my guitar, well, I'd sing the song by John Lennon, imagine. Imagine there's no heaven, no hell. Imagine there's, it was, it, I'm paraphrasing, imagine there's no borders, no country to call a home, like, no, no nationalism. Because nationalism breeds to a lot of tensions. Tension with, uh, we have trade embargoes, wars. That has to be, it's tribalism. It's a seclusion, it's a restrictions. As far as you know, being a patriot, uh, you know, uh, how about we just respect it, like you know, uh, your backyard, front yard, and uh, anything in between that's green or even asphalt, but maybe something better. Respecting a tree, as soon as it's planted, uh, make sure it's nourished with water, make sure it grows healthy. Simple thing like a tree. If you could do that, you know, you pretty much respect a lot of places in the world. Maybe you're a, you're a patriot of, of the world. Maybe you're an earthling. You're a true earthling. An earthlike companion. I saw another man in Brooklyn, New York. I guess, I guess it was just, you know, I'm not saying I think maybe the, the, the people that it was a globe, it, it was in a, in a, like a Eastern European race. I think they were not Polish, but something like that. And it's the globe. I don't know if it was for sale, but it was the map was done. Definitely there was different names. It was an old globe. Who knows what somebody else name all these places before. Maybe we're never name something else. Maybe we're well we're introduced to like Russia used to be USSR. But somewhere like, you know, Kazakhstan or like, you know, somewhere around there, Russia, it was different names. It wasn't even USSR. It was before I mean it was the Ottoman Empire. But it was different names. And people talked about it was just there's a conspiracy like, you know, North America, you know, they found pillars that there was a whole civilization before the colonists arrived, or even before natives actually, and they had an empire. It was a country that was demolished. Something about the Mississippi River, and then the guy, and this guy wrote a book about it. He talks about it, ten, fifteen thousand years, but maybe even longer. That actually there was a, and it was they had the same culture like people in Egypt. Maybe they could just get demolished. Maybe they left. I don't know. Because they found remains, and uh, it's impossible someone travel and, you know, put them there like 10, 20 years ago. They had to have lived there. And had the similarities of, like, people from Egypt. And Egypt was a, a strong empire. I bought the guy's book, but it was about the Mississippi River in the United States. I just never got energy to read it. I couldn't focus. Not focus, but it's like a mental fucking abuse. I was disturbed, and I, you know, right now there's no way I could, I mean, I could focus to read, just, you know, actually enjoy something. I, I, I can't even write pro. I mean, I could write, but just, you know, I don't enjoy that anymore sometimes. Read it aloud so you can hear it, or some other stuff. Uh, what's the point of complaining, right? Bickering and, uh, at least I'm not whining. At least I'm not a wino. Are you a fan of someone that is? <laughs> that individual won't give me a piece of his heart. 
Well, I had a shot there with you, white note. <laughs> Lame-o! That's his cousin, and he doesn't like you either, but he doesn't care, he can vote. <laughs> Fucking vote. Ooh, I can vote. <laughs> Actually, a schizophrenic am I allowed to vote? If they go to schizophrenic delusional, like you're like, I want to vote for the cat. <laughs> so, uh, it came up on the ballot. Look, hey, well, he's voting for Big Bobby. That's last year. Like, no, no, fuck, hey, go away. There's a one voting for dogs. <laughs> Yeah. Find me an animal shelter. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I'll need it. Oh, I gotta take pictures of my cat with the cone. She's standing on top of stairs. It, it, is, you, it is you, the feline leader of the world. <laughs> you look so cool. She looks like a leader. She's just staring down at me. Yes, here, man. Just give me treats and I'll tell you how you can improve your life. <laughs> it, it, it's like, you know, it, it's a cat. My cat landed from <laughs> space like a feline uh, colony or world, a planet. Different galaxy. You know, they're just cats. They're just cute. <laughs> just stare at you like, well, all right, what? Feed us something. <laughs> Take us to your fridge. <laughs> Fridge leader, where are you? Where are you? <laughs> Just so adorable. There will be peace. <laughs> oh. Yeah, I think that the cast colonize the world. They just be so much cooler, you know. Especially if you put a collar on. It doesn't because the collar, she just, she just looks like it's a. I mean, obviously you put a crown because it annoys her. And the collar, she just relaxes when she stands there and she like she wags her tongue. She's looking at me from the stairs. And uh, my cat Trina started talking. Oh, hey, hello there, K K Lita Princess. Don't talk to her like that. You know you're gonna annoy her. <laughs> hey, stop talking. Let, let him say something. She's staring at us. <laughs> like the humans were like impressed. <laughs> the cat is just so adorable. You're just staring at me. Where she's, I don't know, dude. I don't, I don't know her like she, She's telling her to, uh, you know, to you to get a job and you to get an education. She's the dumbest kid in the planet. Actually, listen, start to get you for that cat. You can't, you can't, you can't. <laughs> <laughs> you fuck with people like that. They just improve their lives. Like a fight club without, you know, getting the guy, you know, and back with a gun and saying him to get education. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, pussy. You know, they convince you. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> it's just playful fun. And dogs too with a collar, like a, you know, round collar. They look like they're leaders. <laughs> they look like that's, I mean, you usually see cats and they have that on. Well, this, this must be like an anointed cat. <laughs> It'd be su supreme cat, you know. It's like, and they're just, you know, like, like my cat is like very, very calm. And she just, she, looks, she, she stands like, you know, a judge or like a, a pedestal. So it's like, well, this must be a good moment. <laughs> very illustrious, if that's a word. Oh, I miss Philippines. Where would I, what place I want to go? Was it Malaysia or Taiwan? I believe Taiwan. Yeah, I knew a guy from Taiwan. But yeah, I saw uh, pictures of video. Was it Thailand? Yeah, Thailand. Except not to eat like, you know, insect stuff like that and chocolate, which is like, I don't know, I'm putting it down. It's like we all, I don't want really to eat any sentient being, but, you know, if people eat chicken, dogs, fucking, you know, cats, uh, uh, cows, you know, uh, you know, uh, uh, pigs, actually. So, like, uh, who's, who's to, you know, label anyone who creepy? Let's talk about that, right? Is it because of the, of the texture? Is that what it is? You know, don't you guys have like what? Uh, don't you guys eat pretzels? Don't we eat pretzels? Mm -hmm. I mean, it's the same kind of texture, just, <laughs> right? I just just don't look at it, right? <laughs> Let you get over it, fucking about it. Okay. But Thailand, you know, Thailand was very beautiful. Except, you know, I don't know, I a perverse stuff. The people I told me, oh boy, you get like a chip that's like, you know, a product for a chip. I, mean, I don't want that. I, I don't want to go for that, you know? I I, I saw pictures of Thailand like a waterfall. And you know, okay, there was perverted stuff like three or four chicks, but it's like 
I don't know. I, like, I, I mean, I kind of, oh, probably not, no. And I was at a, my first time at Trinidad at Psych Ward, and I, it was a picture, it was like a waterfall, it was like bamboo or something. I love bamboo, you know, and I, she said, if, and the chick was Ella, which by the way, they misspelled her and, and paperwork, Allah, A-L-L-A, without the A. So I started calling, hey, is your name Allah? I was like, why would they type, why would they misspell that? Like illiterates. I don't know if it was on purpose as a joke. It's Ella, E-L-L-L-A, I believe. And she always had the mask, right after, you know, 2022, she had the mask, and I was like, is she has a creepy face under that? I just couldn't tell. She was smiling. She was actually very cheerful. I actually, I actually liked her. You know? And she said, you have a vacation. When would you go? And I was like, and I was looking at I was like, I want to go to Thailand. I always say, oh, that'd be fu- That'd be cool. <laughs> She's like, that'd be fucking great. <laughs> she was like, dude, like, yeah, I'm really excited, you counselor. And I was like, what is it, man? Maybe she just likes it. That'd be fucking great, yo. That'd be fucking awesome. <laughs> she got really into it. You know? Like, be by a waterfall, and they rent, there's places they rent, like, you know, you, I mean, you can rent an area by a waterfall, and you walk around, and it's like a, they have a pond, and you can re- very relax, and like a waterfall, and even in the rain, even if it rains for like a week or two weeks, like, not even soon, like, ah, but like, even in the rain, like, I love the sound of rain, it's very calming, falling asleep in the rain, it's like a deep sleep, I don't want to watch on YouTube, but it's like, you know, Two hours of just, you know, rain, and it's like, ah, I want to open the window and hear the rain splat and actually get the aroma of it, you know? I woke up rocks, bare feet, I gotta, I gotta get a massage, massage my feet, do my, you know, yoga stances, like buy a waterfall in the early morning. <laughs> Doing. <laughs> And I'm starting to think, if I had money, why wouldn't I do something like that in Jersey? Like an actual artificial waterfall. Maybe not in Jersey, because land, land is here is ridiculously expensive. Somewhere like New Mexico or Arizona. But I wouldn't overprice people like that. Or maybe we would live, in like, even in trailers. Because who cares? I mean, not trailers, but we like, why something? It wouldn't be siding. It would be some extension like hard rock. Right, stone and like it would masonry, white masonry look like España, Spain or colonial times, Spain, right? Even Mexico, white buildings, and it would be like a waterfall there, and you can I mean it could be open to everybody because people respect one another. People wouldn't pollute, people would would fight each other, we could get along. I do my I massage my feet, you massage your feet. You know, hey, how are you doing today? What are you doing? All this and that, it'd be like a community. It's a dream. Yeah, the guy that didn't pay me that thirty nine hundred dollars, he started arguing that four thousand dollars. Oh, I'm sorry, I ripped you off for the hundred dollars. You didn't get me, <laughs> right? You know, he said you should buy a land in New Mexico though, because it's ridiculous. It's dirt cheap. Thanks for the insight, there, Hunter. I know you have your man, we mad. So, what the fuck you want? Is that what you would say? I don't know, my fucking money, dude. <laughs> what do you think I want? You know, I told Hunter, yeah, if I get the money, I'm, I'm probably so, not say New Jersey, but RWJ Barnabas. Trinitas. That's the loss that I was going through. And I was going to Amtec or International. But it was going to be a, a civil court, civil case. You know, but probably wouldn't happen nonetheless. So I was actually going to pay off my iPhone bill. Because I owe like 22 or 2400 from from uh, Apple Cash for two years ago. That was going to be part of it. And then I had like, you know, a couple hundred left over. I, mean, I, was, I couldn't afford a bicycle. I was over there and I saw a bike. He enjoyed it with like $700. I was like, I ju- and he just gave me a I was like, should I just save every penny and just buy the bag? I'm like, come on, I can't be immature responsible. And then that money dwindled away. I know, like, I'm food and water. It just went by so fast. 
Alright, I guess it's my most sad fucking pathetic little shit. <sighs> Look, I ain't even stressed about that. I just like to, you know, use it as a punch. Hey, I don't think I got my money, bro. Alright, you know, whatever, man. Just, you know, uh, just hire me again. This time I'll, you know, <laughs> I'll do like, you know, 2,500 miles a day to make up for the average that I did, too. You know, I'll do like, you know, I'll do like, you know, 1,200. Like, fuck, bro. It's been like the worst 23 and a half hours of the day. Like, no cares. No cares. Jake is thanks. Yeah, you know, I got You know, we didn't agree with you. Know, you're under 1,300 miles a day. What do you have to do? Listen, just boom, 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 get it done. Come on. You're wasting my life here. <laughs> Okay, I just realized I was sleeping this week. <laughs> Why are you laughing? No, I'm crying. I forgot I have the tears. So I started laughing. It's like I'm going to cry. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Not even the most shameful person with you to do it. I can't even do that. I wanted to. And those back in the eyes. What eyes? I can't see anymore. <laughs> I mean, I can see, but it's like, this is just, I'm tired. <laughs> oh, yeah, just, that's too weird. <laughs> Yeah, but you got bought something in your nose, your, your stress, you have a slice, like, back on the mind, like, you know, I have a, I have some food. <laughs> Need to hide, big back. Okay, so focus. Jake's flying over there from his vacation. <laughs> He's rested the last two weeks for you. I mean, you know, in Mali, whatever. He's, he's fine now. Don't you worry about it. <laughs> no worries. Just try it. Just pick him up the airport. He'll drive the 30 miles for you, okay, you idiot? <laughs> hey, park that. Yeah, well, he'll park with you. <laughs> you, you know, he's sweet. <laughs> All right. He'd be on time, so no, because I'm on time to talk to you on a business meeting. I thought you were sleeping. I'm getting high. Go away. <laughs> like, how badly can you lie, man? And yeah, it's like, you know, I don't, I don't say it's irony, but like the people that had the Vikings, Scandinavia, Norway, Denmark, Sweden, Finland. Well, Norway tradition is known for uh, us uh, Vikings, but also Denmark. Except Denmark is Sweden, Finland. Where the f well, I always think Denmark is like right south, yeah, it's south of, uh, 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 of Norway and Sweden. Is that your way? See, I always mess up. It's it's not connected to directly Europe, although it's part of Europe. But tradition of course Scandinavia. These guys were Vikings. They also had rebels, this and the other thing. And eventually they're like they're like Scandinavia is like the most peaceful view. Did they people just get out of their system and stuff like that? Or maybe they got defeated, maybe they realized it was wrong, or maybe it was false nonetheless. I mean if the, the Vikings were so barbaric. And by the way, Vikings from that part of the world, actually Africa, you know, from Mali. The king actually traveled to to North uh North America, I don't know what year, and then like he lost a lot of his ships or stuff like that. And it'll say maybe in a kind of storm, maybe something else, and maybe there was there were people here that we're not aware of. And they fought that king from Mali. But also the Vikings were not the first to uh I believe it was Leif Erikson to to find a way to North America. I mean, I gotta look it up, and then I guess they made their way back. They were the first ones. Who knows? They were defeated by, you know, people from, maybe it was the natives. The Mali people from Mali have guns, gunpowder. The Vikings didn't have that. 
So when the colonists came here, I guess, you know, uh, they weren't more likely to side, but then they had guns and they, you know, they took over, right? That makes the logical sense, you know. Because it really was about uh, the technology and what you do with it and the people behind it. The thing about the Vikings, they had bows and arrows. They were very skilled, very strong, swords. But the natives, actually, you know, Maybe they didn't, they didn't have swords, but they had bows and arrows, and you know, there was a lot of them. There was a lot of these nations, tribes. So it was more than Vikings that could put, fight them off. You think, or maybe, actually, no, they had, I think they traded. I don't know if the Vikings were friendly with the natives or something. I don't know. But then the Vikings, you know, they really, uh, Scandinavia really got peaceful. They weren't warlike anymore. But yeah, I mean, who has the biggest guns uh, a lot of times wins. And it's not a physical thing, actually. Because, yeah, let's say to go, people talk about guns and muscles. It's, I, I think it's a derogatory. Effect. Like, I don't use my muscles to hit somebody. I really don't. And a lot of times, you know, for me, defense is the best form of, of weaponry. I don't know, still know how to fight, but it's like, you know, they just see you try to touch me, and I'll deflect it, and I'll, I'll try to grab your wrist. Aikido, they teach that. Not so much the wrist, but they do. Uh, I always say Japan because Aikido is from Japan, China as well, martial arts. You know, it's really a defense system. Aikido and Aido, which is on the sword, which is what I really wanted to do. You know, but I don't want to use a sword to like fight somebody. And that's, there's a really war and it should be fought with swords. Even then, it's very barbaric. And what's the point of that? You know, but on a personal level, they just say someone grabs you, right? Like that. And like they, and they try to put you, they should miss the hit right there. And I didn't do it until the guy got. I just grabbed it and I pushed him right back. And he got shocked that I did that. I guess he thought I'd be a wuss or something like that, a punk guy. I didn't hit the guy. You know, but even I should have done that. I should have just, you know, I, I ducked and he missed me. He missed me in the face. And he hit me right here, right here in the side of my head. You know? But even that, I kind of messed up at that. I should have let him touch it. I was trying to get the arm off. I should have something like, you know, I don't know, stump them right here or get the arm off and then try to get his wrist and put him down to the ground. And then it's like, you can't get up unless you say, you know, not apologize, I know you're not going to come after me anymore. Or it's like, you know, and I say, you know, police officer shouldn't be taught like that. And I already said it, you know, if the, if the perpetrator tries to get away, like a, a police officer's arrest, that's an arrest. You shouldn't have said this. Then, you know, you could break your own wrist to that and that's your fault. And you break your own wrist, you're a lot of pain. It's like, well, now, you know, I get that. And handcuffs, or any handcuffs, straps or something with rope. And you get tied down, and you know peacefully you get put in a in a car. You get to the hospital. You and that's you know that's one way to go. That's a, a way to resolve the aggression of police officers in the United States of America. But you need training for that. Mixed martial arts or martial arts. Aikido actually would be very good, and Aikido actually. I mean, uh, on a personal level, I always talked about, years ago, if I had a child, I mean, I feel like I talked about that, that one of the things I would talk about, teach him, like, I, I, uh, I, I would teach him uh, uh, homeschool, but it's like self-defense techniques, not to be an aggressor. <laughs> I look like a guy from a, from a comic book, yeah, <laughs> he was a manly guy, it's fine, <laughs> it's cool, <laughs> you know, but just to uh, uh, deflect a punch or an arm. Or, you know, someone tries to hit you and you just deflect it or use your, or use your knees. Use your knees like to, to hit somebody in the knee. This Aikido is about using your joints and you don't have, you, you can be, you, you should be strong. But all it is is about a, a leverage of movement. You know, it's about not just geometry, but it's like a bending somebody's uh, joints to a certain level for your own purpose. Even if someone tries to aggressively charge at you, if you just deflect, kick, push their knees to the side, They'll fall to the ground, and you make it, you know, you stunt them, you embarrass them, and then, you know, they don't, they don't know what to do. A lot of times, you don't really have to hit somebody to, you know, to defuse the situation. A lot of times, I, I do it with words, but, you know, physically, yeah, it, it's a study, and it's been done with martial arts. It's very intelligent, actually. Imagine if, you know, if for decades, centuries, started doing that, and they were the peaceful ones. 
And that's how you don't need bows and arrows and guns. Because you don't come to my community to do anything. We're thriving, we're surviving, we're living better than anybody else. But I'll take, I, I just, you know, I'm thinking too far ahead. And it's a very, I'm very really on a personal, simplistic level. You know, I never took economy classes. You know, it, it's very, it's just simple logic to me. But, and here I'm talking, and you know, people have been threatening that something's going to happen to me. People have been threatening me that they're going to set me up for something I didn't do, I didn't say. Maybe I said something, and they're going to take it out of context, or who knows what they're, what they're, they're going to call somebody, they're going to try to hurt me, or something like that. I need to know, I'm not even stressed or worried or scared. Something's going to happen that I didn't do is going to happen. If something I did, I'll pay repercussions, and you know, I, I, I'm not even a person, I, I didn't go out of my way to hurt anybody. So, I'm not worried. I'm not stressed. I just, you know, I'm sitting here smoking my pipe. It's early in the morning. And, I, you know, I got to I wash my, I got to wash my cat, Chuny, again. I get a, I got to get washed and I get to put an ointment. And then, I'm, you know, I got to put laundry away and I got to, ooh, I will show this. Because I don't know if I, I will. I have to. I have to, I have to, I have to. Yeah, that. Right that. All right, got one minute, forty seconds to do this. Don't. <laughs> <laughs> I bought this. You know, I don't like Chinese. It was. I think I bought Taiwan. These are Taiwan. They say fishing pants. Nothing wrong with that. I don't like fishing, but they have the coolest stuff in Taiwan. And it took me like. I think like a month to get these, but actually it was very fast. So I was like, it was a month, so I was like skeptical. And it's actually cloth, very thin, but. And like, if anyone says, you should take it to Psycho, yeah, right. So you could laugh at me more, or steal it. I was like, someone's gonna take it. They probably wouldn't let me like to have that. No, I'm kidding. I said that. I think that that I would have taken it there. They uh, they say in the instructions, hand wash first to protect it from uh. Machine wash, except I will never machine wash these. I still haven't hand washed this. I had I bought a tub for hand wash. It was for my it was for my cat actually, but I haven't used it for that. I used something else. And I'm actually gonna hand wash these first. I tried them on once and I did minor stretching, they look so cool. This these I believe are koi fish. I saw koi fish in Brooklyn Yard. I don't go to negative stories. They were just so cold. Horrible, but they're beautiful and then you know they're actually claw. It's actual real claw. Yeah, they were like fifty, sixty dollars. Like, I'll, I'll give you like a hundred dollars for these, you know. And they're like they fit so well. And also, they right here, they you can you know, there's a button you can put them on. It, it, it just it's 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 awesome. It's great. They're they're awesome. So I can't wait to train them. <sighs> I, I'm gonna go do that. <laughs> yeah, I got really excited. You know, it's like uh. It's like uh, the, the best uh, gift to my son. I think I bought from Marina for that. Fuck. But I'm uh, you know, it doesn't deflate anything. You know, cause right here there's the buttons, and uh, let me see. Uh, oh, I got, I got to put them on. I should notice. Uh, yeah, it's like you basically, you know, you uh, 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 uh I'm like, uh, uh, no, but right here, right, right here. See, here it is. And you know you you put them up like that. It's like uh, it's like a, it's designed. Except when I'm training, I don't need to do that. I would do that if I go I go outside. It's warmer. 
I got my flip flops. I got clogs and flip flops. Thank you for the flip flops. Whoever threw them out, I still have them. I have my clogs. I gotta glue them. And I'm thinking about spray painting them. They have a transparent. They are broken over here. They're like four or five years old. Yeah, they're a little older, but you know they still work. No socks, clogs, and all of that. This and that. They do match if you think. Well, not that I'm going for it. I don't care. I mean, I do. All right. <laughs> The guy's got to look at certain area. <laughs> He's walking out. Right. <laughs> look at say hi anymore. <laughs> Still going out with the guy? Oh, he's a jerk. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> it's always me. <laughs> but clogs this. You know, I got a tank top, whatever. You know, this is like, you know, chain, right? <laughs> hey, you going out now. And <clears throat> she made me go in a river here in Rawway, the Rawway River. And just walk around and uh, you know interact. You look some fishes just swimming by by my legs. Yeah, I recorded one video of just you know walking in the water. It's just so pleasant. And I get my walking stick. You know, I just walk through. Or I could just you know train in them. You know, stretch and do my yoga slash tai chi, uh, towel leg movement, wrapping whatever I get into. Yeah, Trinidad psychiatric unit. I feel like one time at band camp, <laughs> you know, I feel like that chick, you know, except it's like me training in front of like a, a, a it's like a half sphere mirror they have in hospitals. And I like it because it's like I go develop my form, I can watch my form. But work on my balance too. It usually take, you know, I do like 10, 15 minute intervals, sometimes like 20, 30 minutes. So that for now, I do like, they had this, uh, I talked about this guy from Bowie, he had this, uh, it was a dance recital. It was a hip hop base. It was called Slam, I believe. I think it was called Slam. And I was trying to do something like that, except I was doing the balance, and it's actually pretty cool hit. I had so much fun trying to get into that, you know. I have this gigantic mirror in my bedroom. I found somebody threw it. It's thin, but just you know, there's no frame. But it's like six feet tall, or five feet tall by like three and a half. And I found it. Somebody was stolen away. I I I watched it. When I have a lean, I could, I actually, you know, I, uh, I could train. I have another mirror too. I was going to put up a wall. I have three, four mirrors, big gigantic mirrors in my bedroom. One of them, the guy I left here, his name is Josh. I was like, I don't want to like that. And I started exercising when I came for the first time for the psych work. Stretch, I just never got into that. But I was going to attach it to, to like the, you know, the ceiling in case, you know, let's say I get a girlfriend. Like, oh my God, you got a ceiling mirror? What, what are we going to do? <laughs> Over there. I was like, what if it falls on top of me when I'm sleeping? <laughs> <laughs> and actually, like, my phone dies. <laughs> so a couple of times, maybe like, <laughs> you just do it like that. I was like, oh. Maybe like, you know, shakes it. <laughs> if I did a jerk, it kills me. <laughs> I think about it. Like, no, oh, no. <laughs> jerk of Borat over there. <laughs> Wow, you think about this stuff, huh? You know what we don't like it? <laughs> Not right. <laughs> Not right in the head, I got it. I'm gonna ask him something. I'm gonna ask him something back I came to clean his line. He's like, what happened? He has an answer for like two months. <laughs> it's like me, like, you know, my head, like the bear. <laughs> <laughs> it's just so big. I'm in the bag. <laughs> it's just like you're like going in the mirror. <laughs> Can't he's like, yeah, like, oh, like, she wouldn't do it. It's funny. It's funny. Cold. No, I'm not gonna answer this. <laughs> it's funny. 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 It's Yeah, attach with it. You don't have to use the string anymore. Do it, do it. <laughs> that would have been as bad as a chick. I still broke the wall. <laughs> yeah, it's not going to hit. It's just, she's on top of it. Like, <laughs> 70 feet. Like, yeah, uh, she's huge. Humongous. He's freakishly tall. But, yeah, it's like, she's there, like, Three feet? The <laughs> four feet you were Also, it's a movement. It's a game. 
I said, well, maybe it's a, you know, it'll just inflate <laughs> the fall, you know, it'll be fine. <laughs> <coughs> I'm kidding, that's horrible. It's way too heavy to hang it up. And it's like, the floor is clicking. Also, I like it. I wouldn't feel comfortable. Actually, even if it was thin. Or maybe it was thin, it was very attached. And it would be like, not just by screws, but I have attachments that will hold like multiple places. It will be to a beam. Very secure. You know? That's the only way. And it's like, the only thing is, what if there's an earthquake? And it's like the house, like it, we had last week, but it didn't rattle too much. What if it just chips or like, would it break? It probably wouldn't break. But it's I'm sleeping, it shatters on top of me. It's, it's dangerous. Like, you know, I don't want to be, uh, like, even if I asleep, I guess I would take it off every night. But also, why don't I get like a poster board that's just like a reflective? Actually, I found something else. The the bottom of a door, like, you know, it's a metal, it's a gold thing, metal. I have it in my, uh, another thing I have it in my bathroom, I didn't mount it yet. But it's it's metal. And it's a big piece of metal. It's like if it falls, oh it hurts, but it's like at least it's not glass. And it's actually not that heavy. What if it's just that one little strip? Isn't that enough? Like why with my my area, it's like, you know, it's the same was with female. You know, it's like okay, well she's this, she she's looking it's just okay, she see a little. That's gonna be the whole thing. Like you don't need to see my my <laughs> the, <laughs> the body of my feet, you know, it's like, oh, I don't want to see, I'm going to look at there, you know, I was thinking, I, I'm not going to do that, but that memory is just exten extensively heavy, it's a long piece, like seven feet or something like that, but, you know, I have it there in the side, it's like, you know, it's not collecting dust, for some reason, it's just so tall, it's cool to look at it, and then, you know, stretch, and, you know, do my stretches in there, but, yeah, people throw away mirrors, which is another thing I can understand. Why would you do that? I mean, I'm fine. I'll collect. I'll pick it up. I'll clean it up. You know. But yeah, I, I love I love these these. Uh, I don't know what, what traditional uh, name is for them in, in that language, but I call them my. Uh, I didn't give a name. Just my training uh training garment, if you will. Oh, better. You know. So uh. I am gonna go ahead and, and just, you know, uh, get to life. You know, uh, things I wanna do actually during the day. Uh, because, because I miss doing them so much.